still an 80, 57, and 5 overall run here on the Power 5, but it's been a while since we had a big winning day on the show. I think we've got one in store here on Thursday. I have four free Major League Baseball winners for you, plus my take on Patriots Jets. As a reminder, I am number one in wager talk this football season so far with a combined 68% record, 15-7 and seven in NFL and college, went a perfect 4-0 in NFL Week 2. So without further ado, let's get in to today's Power 5. You can always comment down below with your thoughts on these selections. We start in the daytime. Blue Jays Rangers under 7.5. But this is a bet we cashed yesterday on the show as the home team prevailed 2-0. Toronto didn't even get a man on base until the fifth inning of that game. Now, this number's already been hit. Total open at eight, but we're still good playing the under at seven and a half. On yesterday's show, I went through how the Rangers have been outstanding when it comes to run suppression here at home. They're giving up the third fewest number of runs at home in all of baseball. Rookie Kamar Rocker, he'll be making his second big league start for Texas tonight. He allowed just one run on three hits in his debut last Thursday. Went four innings only, as he's obviously on a pitch count. But obviously, the sky's the limit with Rocker, and it's not like this Blue Jays lineup should have him scared, okay? Uh, but the Rangers, they're likely to struggle to score runs this afternoon as well, because Jays starter Kevin Gosman has been much better on the road this year. ERA, two and a half points lower than it is at home. Overall, Gosman's given up three earned runs or fewer each of his last seven starts, so under seven and a half it is for this 235 Eastern Time start. Number two, uh, Diamondbacks Brewers. I'm going to get a little aggressive here and lay the half run in the first five with Arizona. Should be around plus 110 to play the first five run line with the Snakes in this series opener. Now, these two NL playoff hopefuls just met last weekend in Arizona. Two of the three games saw 20-plus runs scored. One of those was won by Milwaukee, 15-8, to and had the same starting pitching uh, matchup we have tonight. Brandon Fott versus Tobias Myers. Fott, as you might gather, was terrible. He allowed eight runs in one and two-third innings. Arguably the worst start of his young career. But I am betting on Fott to bounce back tonight. Plus, it's a great spot to fade Milwaukee. Uh, I actually misspoke calling these two teams, quote, playoff hopefuls. Milwaukee's in the playoffs. They may come out a little sluggish tonight, dare I say, after clinching the NL Central pennant yesterday. Uh, Myers, oh, by the way, he allowed four runs last week into this D-backs lineup, uh, which leads all of MLB in runs scored. I'm less confident in him than I am Fott. Now, I still respect the Brew Crew bullpen, which is why I'm confining this bet to the first five innings, but expect the road team to be up after five in this one. Number three, let's go over eight in Phillies Mets. At City Field. Problem is, they've got Taiwan Walker on the mound. Walker has been an abject disaster this season. That's why he got demoted to the bullpen, but he's starting again on Thursday. And the last time the Phils won a Walker start was all the way back on May 22nd. My word. 0 and 9 in Walker starts since then. The right hander has a 6.29 ERA and 1.63 whip this season. That's all, those are obviously terrible numbers. Last time he started a game. Walker allowed six runs and 13 hits. He did not even strike out a single batter in six innings. Yikes. Now the Mets, they turn to Luis Severino, who I don't have much regard for either, even though Severino has pitched a lot better at home this year. But he's up against the lineup that's top five in scoring. Oh, by the way, the Mets right behind the Phillies in scoring. They rank sixth uh, in runs per game. So two top six offenses should have their way here against a pair of shaky starters. Don't necessarily love either bullpen here either. Over eight it is in Phillies Mets. Hold your nose on this one, gang. Our fourth play, we are taking the plus one and a half with Patrick Corbin and the Nationals against the Cubs. Should be around minus 135 to play the Nats on the run line here. Look, earlier I mentioned the Brewers just clinched the NL Central pennant last night. Well, that means the Cubs season's all but over. Uh, it would take a miracle for them to make up the gap necessary uh, to get a wild card spot. Team may be coming into this series a bit deflated. Now, it's not like the Nats have anything to play for either here, but Patrick Corbin, he's in a contract year and he's basically playing for his career. I think he would like to remain in Major League Baseball and to do so, he desperately needs a strong finish to this season. And for the record, Corbin has not been that bad of late, guys. Save for one blow up at Pittsburgh, uh, he's allowed two earned runs or less in every start since August 16th. That's five of his last six. Talked about this on the show the last couple days. 
Cubs don't score as many runs at home as they do on the road. The average drops more than a full run per game. They're fourth on the road in scoring, but just 25th here at the friendly confines of Wrigley Field. Javier Assad hasn't exactly been knocking them dead on the mound for the Cubbies either. Team's lost his last two starts. Cubs have just two wins in their last seven games. So Nationals, run line, plus one and a half in this one. So that does it for baseball. Before I get to Thursday Night Football, allow me to let you know that for all you listening to the Power Five early, you still got a chance to grab my Thursday afternoon two-pack. Champions League Soccer plus Major League Baseball. I'm number one in soccer at Wage Talk going back to April, hitting 67% overall, including a 10-0-1 run in the Premier League. My 4% Champions bet League best bet is on the docket this afternoon. My only Champions League uh, play for clients this week. In MLB, I did end what had been admittedly a horrible losing streak with a 3% winner on Cleveland last night. Very dramatic win. I think it's the start of something big on the base pass. So don't miss your chance to go 2-0 in the daytime today. That MLB play, by the way, is a total this afternoon. I'm 7-2, my last nine MLB totals. It is only $29 for the pair of winners. Champions League best bet, Major League Baseball total. Go to wt.buzz slash bp, just $29 for the pair. All right, nothing for me in the college game tonight, South Alabama, App State, but I do like the under in NFL as the Patriots take on the Jets. This is how we're going to wrap up the Power Five today. Terrible spot for both teams here. Patriots coming off an overtime loss to the Seahawks on Sunday. Teams coming off an OT loss and playing on Thursday. A money-burning 3-21 and against the spread all time. My God. But the Jets, they're playing for a third game in 10 days. Third time in 10 days, pardon me. It's very rare that a team's asked to do that. We're going to see it more this season with the odd scheduling uh, business we've seen. Teams in that situation are just three and seven ATS. So we can only look at the total here and it's under 38 and a half all the way. I'll say it again. I don't think Aaron Rodgers is very good anymore. This Jets offense has been held under 300 total yards in both games so far. The Patriots offense, we know, super conservative with Jacoby Brissett at quarterback. They're just going to look to run the ball and eat clock. Of course, primetime unders, very much still a thing. I just don't think you could trust either offense here on a short week. Under 38 and a half Patriots Jets for me. Let's now recap the Power Five, shall we? In case you missed anything. Number one, Blue Jays Rangers under seven and a half. Number two, D-backs first five run line, lay in the half a run at Milwaukee. Number three, over eight in Phillies Mets. Number four, Nationals plus one and a half. Happy Patrick Corbin Day, everybody, against the Cubs. And number five, under 38 and a half in Patriots Jets. Again, feel free to leave any comments and or questions down below. Drop your favorite bets for Thursday, whether it's MLB, NFL, or college football. I love hearing from you guys. And if you haven't already subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Not only do I do the Power 5 daily, but you can catch me and Mark Zinno every Monday through Friday doing the morning wager. Don't forget NBA right around the corner. For only $595, you can lock in the entire season. You will not get a better discount if you wait. Last season, I finished number three at Wager Talk with 45.28 units of profit in the association. So head on over now to wt.buzz slash bp to get locked in for the 2024-2025 NBA season. Just, just another way to win. It's so once again, I'm number one in... Uh, football this season at Wager Talk, 68% combined in NFL and college, plus number one in football, aka soccer, since April with a 67% record. Yes, number one in football, number one in football. Uh, pretty good. That does it for Thursday's edition of the Power Five. Hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like button if you already haven't done that already. Why would you have not smashed the like button already? And until next time, let's catch some tickets.